I want to find the ultimate comfort food. So I asked you to send me suggestions over Twitter and I mashed them all together and well, we made something. All right, so this time around, I got a lot of suggestions. I got a lot more sweet suggestions. Uh, I had a lot of pot stickers, chocolate, brownie, some people saying cinnamon buns. And so I thought, brilliant, brownie cinnamon bun pot stickers. I don't know, I don't know. So let's begin. I'm gonna go with two different batters. I'm gonna keep the brownie gyoza separate from the cinnamon bun gyoza so you get like iconic tastes of each. But let's start with the cinnamon bun batter. We've got flour, baking powder, cinnamon. This is basically just a recipe for like waffle batter or pancake batter and brown sugar. Those are all my dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna give that a whisk. Then I have got some milk. I've got one egg and then a little bit of melted butter. Pour that over top and whisk that together. Now, a normal batter, you wanna be fairly runny because you wanna be able to like drizzle it onto your hot pan. But because these are going in gyoza, I want it to be a little more substantial. I'm gonna let it set for 10 minutes because oftentimes baking powder will like figure itself out in 10 minutes and it kind of gets a little bit thick. So I'm gonna leave that for a second and let's work on the brownies. All right, once again, dry ingredients all going in together. Got a little bit of flour and some cocoa powder. Got some sugar going in. Beautiful, give that a whisk. And then to that, I'm gonna add my egg. Then a little bit of melted butter is going over top. And then my melted chocolate. And let's mix that all together. Just incorporate that. Might add a touch more flour, but again, we're gonna let this sit for about five, 10 minutes while I grab my wonton wrappers. All right, so I've got my wonton wrappers here and I've got just a damp paper towel covering them and a little bit of water because I like to use that as glue. All right, so you're gonna grab one, put it right on your board. Get a little bit in the center. You really don't want to overfill it, otherwise you're gonna have a super hard time sealing it. Then take a little bit of water. Ooh, is this gonna work? Okay, and now I'm gonna just pleat it. Oh, I can pleat it, look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, super. All right, let's try the brownie one. The cinnamon bun batter gave me a little bit of trouble because again, it was just like a little more liquidy, but overall, I'd say great job this far. So let's get them cooked. I've got my pan over here that I want to get onto a medium heat and I'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. And I want to heat that up so we get the oil, not too, too hot, not like smoking hot, but hot enough. And then I'm going to arrange my wontons just in a little kind of fanned out pattern. And I'm just gonna cook them until they, I start to see a little color. You see a little golden brown on the bottom. And that's when I'm gonna add a third a cup of water and I'm gonna cover them and they're gonna finish steaming and cooking all the way through. All right, while those are finishing up and they're cooking all the way through, I wanna make the cream cheese icing that is iconic with cinnamon buns. So in my little bowl here, I'm gonna go in with some cream cheese and a little bit of softened butter. I'm just gonna work those two together. To that, I'm gonna add my icing sugar just a little bit at a time. Mix that in together. I have got my vanilla here. Beautiful. And then I wanna add milk until I get to that nice drizzling consistency. All right, you guys, I think, I think we may have done something good, you and me together. This is a great relationship. I don't know if you've noticed, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's a weird one. If you have any crazy cool ideas, you should probably use Snapchat and snap them at me. I am at Feeling Peckish, and I will see you next time.